Are you disappointed you shot a 76 or are you proud and happy that you came through when you had to in the playoffs? Is, is it possible to be both? Um, not happy with the back nine. I didn't necessarily have my A game and I felt like there were certain times where I just, the, the breaks weren't necessarily falling my way. Um, with the win today, it was gusting at times, it was swapping directions at times, and there was, you know, you're trying to judge that, I guess, and I felt I felt like every time, you know, I didn't necessarily have my A game, and every time I tried to judge the win, I'd judge it wrong. Um, so it was very much a grind. I didn't give myself a whole lot of good birdie opportunities, which this course really rewards good ball striking. And the greens are generally pure, but I just, I struggled with, with the approach shots, and I struggled reading the greens today and honestly limped my way into a, a playoff which luckily I was able to hit a couple of good golf shots and ha make a short putt for birdie to, to pull it off. On 18 in regulation were you well aware of the score and where it stood between yeah. you two? Yeah. Oh yeah absolutely okay. I had a plan going in and I just I didn't hit a good a pitch shot um, basically the same thing I did in the playoff that's what I meant to do the first time but um, my pitch shot the first the in regulation was in the rough, caught a flyer, skipped over into the back part of the green and three putted. So, um, but the uh, in the playoff, it was I was in the fairway. I was like 35 yards out, so it's it's really not, it's really easy to catch it correctly and catch some spin on it. And luckily, I was able to judge it correctly, and it rolled up to to two feet. You won that Montecchi uh, match play. You won last week the Old Ing Cup. You win today. How good does it feel to be, a, be able to play like this once again competitively and to yeah. be able to succeed? And did you think coming into this year, if you had the chance to play regularly, you could have this kind of success? No, honestly not. I, there's so many good golfers in Rockford right now. Um, I mean, let's start with Jake Guzzi, who's a, going into his junior year of high school. That is absolutely amazing how well he's playing right now. Uh, I'd have to say one of the best bouts of high school golf I've seen I mean, since I was in high school, you know, he's he's just about better than everybody I've known at that age. And then you move on to uh, Danny Gorman, TJ Baker, even Bennett Baker's back in town. Um, you look at the Reimer brothers, um, and I know I'm leaving people out, but there's so many good golfers I felt that we haven't had this many good golfers playing in all these tournaments. I, I mean, really, since I started playing them when I was in high school myself. So knowing that, Going into um, the Montecchi match play, which was one of the first tournaments I played this year, my goal is just try to win one, I guess, you know, play well. I love Montecchi, so I was really happy to win that. Um, and then the Aldean Cup was one I never really thought I'd be able to win because I haven't necessarily played the best out here. Um, I was able to pull that out, I guess. And then today, I guess, just to limp my way into a playoff and luckily hit a couple of good shots during a playoff, it was... I couldn't have pictured this at the beginning of the year, that's for sure. Your wife, Melissa, won three Women's City Championships. Yeah. Now, you have your third. Bragging rights now are, are even? Was, it, was that no, a still, point of contention at home? No, or? she still has the upper hand. But, you know, <laughs> I got I got to take it when I can get it. She's she's uh, brought that up maybe in an argument or two, a playful argument, that is, uh, over the years. And so I guess now she's going to have to move on to something else. I know she has four hole-in-ones. So I guess I have a, a little way to go, ways to go there. So she still has that on me, but uh, I'm just trying to live up to, to her. And you had an extra fan here today in Theo. How, yeah. how sweet is it to have that little guy, you know, kind of waiting there uh, and knowing that he's right there, you know, not aware of what's happening, obviously, but that just the fact that his presence is here with you on a yeah. day like this. That It was awesome. Um, you know, staying focused the entire round, but um, knowing at the end of the day, I have Melissa and Theo to go home to. I got had family out here um, the entire time, basically. And um, I think Melissa came out with Theo like when I was on 15, 16. So seeing her it was a nice little break because I was really struggling coming in. And um, just a nice little break. I think it's what I needed. I didn't finish out in regulation very well, but it was certainly nice to come in, see them, give some hugs, basically, and um, talk to Melissa. Basically, she caddied for me on that playoff hole and talk to her on the way in and um, it's it's pretty awesome puts everything in perspective that's for sure when does theo start golf lessons i, I don't know <laughs> whenever he can start gripping a golf club i guess i don't know